Hey guys, thanks for tuning into this set of tutorials where we'll be going over how to create some more complex user interfaces. To give you an idea of what we'll be making, I created a sample of the end goal on a designing software called Figma. Over the next few videos, we will delve into some more complex interfaces that will make use of sheets, stacking, state variables, and different data structures. If you have just a second, I always appreciate a subscribe and a like so more coders like you can use these videos to learn something new. On that note, let's go ahead and get started. Sure, this is what we're going to be making, and we're just going to work on the UI component of it, and we're going to go ahead and start a, a new project. And the new project, actually we're going to go back, we're going to create a tabbed app. Uh, we're going to name this one Vacation Planner. Okay. And I'm going to put that on my desktop. And <clears throat> I guess the first thing we can do is let's just go ahead and click Resume. It'll pop up and show us the canvas to see what we're working with. But first things first is we don't want this to say first with a circle and second with a square. Instead, we probably want this to say home. And this one can probably say settings for now. And let's go ahead and make this, instead of that, we'll make it system name. And we'll use H, uh, say home. Or at least we need house, is what it is. And those are dictated by whatever they're named here. So house, we want that one. And this one, instead of the second image, we're going to write system. I'm going to write system name that's an SF symbol. So that one will be gear. We'll find that right here. All right. So now that we have the two of those squared away, let's go ahead and let's create a new folder really quickly. Let's say new group. Let's put all of our views in there. So views. Drag that in there. Let's create a new file, Swift UI view, and we're going to name this one Home View. Okay, and what we want to do is let's just say, let's just make that text say, This is Home. Now, if I go to Content View and I resume again, what it's going to show us is exactly what we had before first view, home, and settings. But that's because when you click home, it's just it's telling you we're going to go straight to first view. What we want instead is we want it to go to home view. And now what it's doing is it's showing us this home view. So whatever we do here now is going to show up as the first tabbed item in home. So we can just focus on this home view page now. Let's go ahead and continue there. So. Instead of this, this is home. Let's go ahead. Actually, we can keep it for now. We'll just create a V stack, okay? So, let's embed this inside of a V stack, okay? Let's keep an eye on this so we know where we want to go with this, okay? So we're gonna want a search bar, and we're gonna want this scrollable uh, content right here, and we're gonna want all of this to be, uh, you know, want to be able to scroll up inherently. So let's go ahead and start by creating. This is gonna be. A, let's we'll say this is a, a text field. This is going to be um, a, an H stack, and the rest of it will be one huge V stack. And all of that will be inside of a scroll view. So let's go ahead and first create our text field. Okay. Oh, even better, I prefer to actually grab it from here. So text field. Okay. And we need somewhere to store this text value. So what we need to do is we need to create a state variable. And that state variable will be um, of type. So uh, we call it val. OK. And what we can do is we can put that right here. Okay, and that should take care of that. And what we need to do now is put a spacer, spacer. That'll shove everything upwards. Hit resume. That's what we're looking for so far. Okay, let's give this. I like to give everything a funky colored background while I work, so that way I know where everything is, and that includes padding and all that kind of stuff. So let's put that there. Let's give it a padding. Okay. And this text, we're going to next we'll put our h stack above this, so h stack. Okay. In that h stack, 
Uh, we'll just start by putting a text in it. Okay, and we'll give this whole H stack background color of green. Okay, I want to start by giving also this V stack. I want to give it a spacer or a space. Let's say start spacing of zero. I don't want that little space right there exactly. So I want that to go away. If I want spaces like that, I'd rather do that in the form of padding. I find that to be a little bit cleaner. So instead, to do that, because that is nice to have that. It's, it's more aesthetic. So we'll put a padding right there. So now we've got that padding, and it has an inherent amount of padding. So inside of that H stack, the next thing we're gonna do, uh, let's just put, let's just put a bunch of them, a bunch of these texts side by side. Okay, and if I keep, let's even just copy all those one more time. So it has an issue. It's saying we're gonna get off the screen. Okay. So I'm going to let it roll like this one more time. And what I'll do is I'll actually take that whole thing and I'll embed all of that into a scroll view. OK. And let's give everything in there. Let's say this H stack has a height. Or, well. Inherently, the scroll view has a scroll and a vertical dimension. So, what we need to do is we need to say the axis, the axis is horizontal. That's a crucial component there. And now that's looking more like what we were hoping for. So, let's we can even put a couple more in there now. Should work. Let's just get rid of it. We'll come back to that. So that that will be the area where we have all of um, all of the scrollable content, but we'll get back to that, okay? So that's good enough for now. And then the next part will be this V stack, okay? So that V stack, let's minimize that, and we will put that V stack right above this is home, and we're going to get rid of this is home in one minute. So V stack, and we will just put. This is the V stack. Okay. All right. We'll give that a background of the color blue. Okay. So right now we already have the text field, the H stack, and the V stack. I think the most important thing to remember is that there's nothing complex about a complex UI view. We have a bunch of very simple components. We have a simple text field, we have a simple H stack, and a simple V stack. There's nothing complex. If you can understand the basics, you just have to understand how to put these things together. So that is probably a good place to wrap this video up, and in the next video we'll continue making our way towards this. I know this looks nothing like this, but it really starts to pick up really quick how much the two will look alike. All right.